Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at McFarland Toys, and I am stoked because I've been looking forward to this guy. That's for sure. We're totally checking out the brand new Death Metal Batman and his Death Metal Bat Cycle, straight from Capullo's artwork. This is, of course, part of the brand new 2021 DC Multiverse Wave which I will have an entire look at coming soon, but this is a special Batman and his motorcycle vehicle, of course. And like I said, straight from the artwork. You couldn't have asked for something better, as I'll show you in just a second. Chef's kiss on this one right here. Batman, of course, Death Metal Batman comes with a scythe. There will be a later released Death Metal Batman, and he will be part of a separate wave and will come with a guitar much like the artwork as well. If you haven't been reading Death Metal, it gets weird, okay? Just giving you the heads up. But I love seeing that the Death Metal miniseries, the kind of semi-reboot, we'll just say, just ended, and now we're getting this figure. The box is great, same thing as usual, cross-sells, here's the barcode as well. One little heads up, the Batman and the rest of the figures should start hitting shelves around February. So it's going to be a little bit after the Bat Cycle, which we are looking at as well. The Bat Cycle hits Sunday, January 10th. So depending on when you see this, you could probably go out to the stores and start grabbing them now. Some people have grabbed them now, just FYI. But here's the box. Very cool. This is a vehicle for your Batman. In all honesty, you could probably fit any Batman DC Multiverse figure on there, Ghost Rider. Who knows, right? The box is cool. Here's the barcode if you want to go ahead and find it in stores. Like I said, probably hear it in my voice. Very excited for this guy. Love the look of this. It's different. I know. It's another Batman. But hey, guess what? It's a darn good looking Batman and Bat Cycle. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Death Metal Batman and his Death Metal Bat Cycle. And right now, head over to my Instagram. Thank you to McFarland Toys for hosting this contest. We are giving away three prize packs featuring this Batman and this Bat Cycle. Link in the description below. Do everything you got to do, and I hope you win one because it's friggin' rad. So here's Batman and his Bat Cycle out of the packaging, and yeah, it's it's exactly what I wanted to see. This is near perfection right here. A couple little hidden things in here too, which really aid and I think a lot of people have been asking for. So that is equally as great. Amazingly sculpted detail on the bat bike. And this is again, much like the more recent Batman and figures, it's a fantastic Batman. This is a great looking Batman. You have to like the death metal stuff, really. If you're not following DC Comics right now, I totally get why people are like, this isn't classic Batman, I don't know what this is. But for those that are following it, much like myself, it was actually a pretty cool storyline, except for the last issue. We're just gonna go, oh, okay, that works, I guess. But comes with two trading cards, of course. Death Metal gets his, Bat Cycle gets theirs. And here you can screen grab this if you want to go ahead and read about him. Let's talk about this motorcycle. Let's just get this right out of the way right now. The bat face on the front kind of looks a little rat faced as well. It's kind of a, a couple tweaks here and there would have helped. But what it lacks for in the ultimate bat looking face, it does make up for in the sculpted parts of the motorcycle itself. Even the tires rotate, which is great. Great to see that. I know sometimes. You never know anymore. The bat symbol is all over this bike. Batman personalizes everything. You probably go through this entire thing and count how many times Batman was like, put a bat symbol. I got no other parts and pieces. The bones will work with you. Just be careful with them. Just going to say the front of the bike will turn and of course the wheel will turn as well. But I really like the ears. I think that that looks really cool. See, it's in, in different angles. It kind of has that rat to bat kind of look but we know what it is, right? The bottom, not too much going on. Works for what it is, it stays upright. It's a very cool motorcycle. And if you didn't want to put Batman on there, I'm sure you could find any number of other characters, Lobo, Ghost Rider, who knows? You know what I mean? You could, you could fit anybody on there, but it's pretty dang rad. Same thing with this Batman. This is a cool Look at Batman, he's got spikes everywhere. Capullo, you know what I mean? What are you gonna do? He's got chains, he's kind of spawnish. 
He's got skulls all over him. If you haven't read the comic, you're not going to probably get a lot of this. But he goes to Hot Topic and he shops in the Death Metal universe. Of course, he's got bat gauntlets. And they're actually kind of sharp, which is really funny. But the details on the back of the jacket is great. The split down the middle really helps putting him on the bike. It looks like leather. That's a very, I mean, look at the folds in the suit and everything. It's awesome. But the main thing, this is the thing that I've been talking about when I've been doing these videos, talking about Death Metal Batman, was is he going to have the Black Lantern ring? And he does. And not only that, you can see the Black Lantern symbol on it. And it was hard to get a picture, but it's there, baby. And that is awesome. And the one nitpick, of course, that I have now is that I really wish he had come with fisted hands. That way it's kind of like, boom, rise. So we'll see maybe with the guitar, which if he's got extra hands, I don't think so. But hey, you know what? That would have been, that's my nitpick of this figure. That's the one thing that was missing, extra hands. The actual scythe, the death scythe, is really nice. Heck, if you got a scarecrow figure, it might look good for him as well. But the handle is all brown. You got some nice black and some silver for the actual blade. Again, very comic booky. Very cool to see that. The Batman figure, I think, will make a lot of people who were kind of looking for extra articulation in certain areas, I think you'll be stoked. I like the jacket. It's not really cumbersome on him. I like these chains, all the skulls, everything else. I mean, look at the detail on this guy. He is covered in studs and pointy things and everything else. Not quite the best bat butt. I mean, the McFarlane bat butt, you can't, it's going to be hard to beat that one, but all the little Batman fins and just the jacket right here, just FYI, it's glued down right there along the bat symbol, so it's not something you can pop off. The articulation in the head is superb. You can look it up, which is really nice to do that rise thing, and you can also look down to be all brooding. The jacket will work with you. It doesn't really hinder at all. He's got butterfly joints, which are an extra little bonus in there as well. He's got some bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, which work really well, despite all these extra points and jagged pieces and everything else. So it's it's good. The wrist the rotates. He's got a nice ab crunch to him. He'll swivel at the waist. He'll rotate at the waist. You can get a lot of movement out of this guy. And it's looking a lot more flush than, let's say, the first wave type Batmans, I will say. You can kick out. You can kick high. <laughs> Batman's kicking high. You can also have some double jointed knees. I like the knee pads on this as well. The rocker, it's okay. And the, the ball, it's still, a, we got to fix that somehow, some way. It's, it's just, it just kind of stands out. But he has thigh rotation. And a lot of people have been asking for this. And including me on certain figures, I think it works. And on this guy, it works really well because you're going to be sitting him on a motorcycle. So I would say just going forward, Put some thigh swivel in the other figures. And it's like hidden. That's some good thigh swivel right there. I think people are going to be stoked. But you kind of get them all situated. Get them ready to get on that bike. Let me speed this up a second. It, you know what I mean? Doing this on camera. I get all nervous, right? <laughs> and bingo bango, you got yourself one heck of a death metal Batman riding a death metal bat cycle. This thing is great. He sits on there perfectly. He can hold the handlebars. He can hold the death scythe while he's doing it. This is a size comparison for the new McFarlane Batman against this Death Metal Batman, Capullo's Batman. McFarlane's Batman is still taller than yet another Capullo Batman. And of course, yeah, he is he's kind of taller than most. Here he is lined up with the new Damian Wayne. Again, I will have a video coming up real shortly, probably depending on when you watch this. We're going to look at Damian and the rest as well. This is a fantastic set. It is the artwork brought to life. It is something that I look for when toy companies make toys based on the comic book. What are they going for? What are they trying to achieve? This is near perfection. The Bat Cycle could have used a little red tongue. I'm just saying, maybe it had the more extended nose with a little fold at the top just to give it more bat-accented features. But you can't deny how it's going to look in your collection, maybe on your work desk at work. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Old Toys, New Toys, daily news updates, everything and anything, I guarantee you, you'll find something here that you like. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys Death Metal Batman and his Death Metal Motorcycle. And again, thank you to McFarlane Toys for sending this over to give you guys this fresh look. A couple tweaks here and there, a couple extra fists, interchangeable fists for Batman, really would have just been 
icing on the cake. But in all honesty, having this particular Batman riding this particular bat cycle is the artwork brought to life and they did a absolutely fantastic job everything works properly also make sure to head over to my instagram link again in the description below go and try and win one of these batmans and bat cycles i'll have the winner next week i hope you guys enjoyed but i'm curious to know what you guys think about these new dc multiverse figures are they for you Will you be grabbing? Comment below, let me know, and let's talk everything death metal. What was your favorite part of death metal? Don't say it was the ending. I still don't understand. Future state, right? Anyways, I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember when Batman brought everybody back in the end. That was crazy. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. And coming up real, real quick, grab the rest of your Death Metal Batmans. We got The Drowned, we got Red Sun, Superman, Damian Wayne, and of course, another look at Batman on his Bat Cycle. See you then.